Number four, simplify the following expression by removing any perfect square factors from the radical terms and combining like terms if possible. So first thing we're going to see if we can simplify these radicals because we have some different ones. So this is where we're going back to what we did in 1.1. I'm going to look at 10 and see if I can pull any terms out. 10 is 2 times 5 and that's going to just stay 2 times 5. Remember there's no groups to pull out so this cannot be simplified. So I'm going to have negative 14 minus 20 and I can combine these because the radicand is the same and also the index is the same. So 14 minus 20 and then the square root of 10 just stays as a like term. So 14 minus 20 is negative 34 square root of 10. And then I still have this negative 13 square root of 5. But when I get here, my radicands, 10 and 5, are different. And when they're different, that means that we cannot add, we cannot subtract. So this is a simplified as we go. We could only combine the radicands when they're the same. So it would be negative 34 square root of 10 minus 13 square root of 5. And that would be our answer on that one.